Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is a small how to to uh, how to set up OBS, uh, the basic stuff of OBS, like how do you add elements, how do you crop them, how do you move them around, how do you configure the basic stuff for recording videos and uh, streaming. So uh, first, you need to of course install OBS. Um, you can do it by going to obsproject.com. And uh, see the web page right here. Just uh, go to this web page, click download, uh, figure out what version you need, and of course, on what operating system you're using, and just download it, install it, and uh, then you will have an image that looks a little bit like this, which you see right here on an infinite loop. Um, this is the dark skin, so your version might look a little different. Uh, if you go to settings, you can configure the theme right here. Uh, on general, um, you will want to probably uh, change the output scale to 720p instead of 1080. Uh, depends if you want to do full HD or not, what resolution you want to do stuff in. Um, so um, there are a lot of tutorials on how to stream. So I'm going to focus on just the layouts of stuff. So uh, when you start for the first time, you will have just my scene. And my scene contains the elements that you want to stream. Uh, to add new element, just click the plus sign, select the type of element you want, and that's it. So uh, you need at least uh, three elements. To start with, you need an audio input capture, which will be your microphone. Click, uh, I already have it. It's called the mic auxi auxiliar, but you can create a new one. Click OK and then select from the drop down list. Uh, you will need to create an output, uh, audio output capture, which in this case will be the desktop audio. Uh, if you want to send the whole desktop, you might want to just send the audio of a specific window or something like that. Then you will need to add uh, visual elements as well. Um, in this case, you can add uh, a webcam, uh, same way. Uh, you create, click the plus sign. Uh, you have an, what was it? Uh, display capture, video capture device. And on the video capture device, you can create a new one. Okay, and then you select what camera you want. In this case, I have split cam installed, so I could also select uh, split cam. You can also change the resolution and stuff like that uh, through here. And then you'll have this object here, which you can drag around just by clicking. And you can also resize. If you go to the circles, you can resize uh, the size of it. And you can also crop. If you hold down the Alt key and you go to the circles, you can drag it and you crop around it. See? So with these uh, tools, you can uh, create your layout and you know put uh, the camera on the side or on the this other side. If you have like a green background, you can also apply some filter. Uh, to select uh, chroma key or chroma key to uh, remove the the filter specific uh, color that you want um, so you can do all sorts of things uh, with effects on it but the uh, basic stuff that I wanted to show you was this uh, how to create to crop uh, you can create several different kinds of elements um, for visual ones, you can add text element. You can have uh, browser source. Browser source is specifically useful if you have like a web page where you have stuff that keeps changing and you want it to be shown on the screen. Um, this is mostly useful for cloud services, for streamers, where you have like a list of people who are in the stream or a chat of the stream. You can have a browse source with the chat that's currently happening. Uh, you can also add images, slideshows, media sources, like you can have videos playing inside uh, OBS itself. Uh, you can add windows of what stuff that's currently happening or a game capture. A game capture is very similar to window, but it looks for a specific game itself, not just a window. Window capture can be more generic, it can be a browser, it can be another application like Skype or stuff like that. Um, with browser specifically, um, you might get a black screen if you use hardware acceleration on a browser. So beware of that. Um, even if you use window capture and then select the browser, uh, you might have that issue. Uh, to select the whole screen, you uh, create a display capture. 
And this right now we are showing my uh, complete main screen. But that's why you see the bars here. If you wanted to hide the bars, you can just select display capture and then use the Alt key to hide those away. And then stretch it a little bit more to fit everything. Just like this. That's it. I cut a little bit of the border, but now it's fully stretched. You can also change the order of the screens. Like for example, the webcam, I can right click and set it to down. So it's behind the layer of the display capture. Uh, so you can change the order of the screens like that. I think you can also drag. Yeah, you can also drag it around. So lots of different things. Some people have some issues when they're resizing these things. They, the Alt key doesn't work. So for that, you can right click and go to transform, edit transform, and you can change stuff here manually. All the crop directions, if it's using bounds, if it's stretching, all that different kind of stuff. So yeah, this is the basic tutorial that I wanted to give you. Uh, I don't know what else is worth mentioning. You also have the levels here of stuff you can control. Lower volume, higher volume, things like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There are a lot of other tutorials around to, to stuff with OBS. If anyone has any specific requests uh, for OBS, feel free to ask on the chat below. Um, I can answer either on comments or create another video, uh, whatever works best. So just, uh, you know, let me know and uh, I will try to create something useful for you guys. So that's it for now. Bye bye. Take care.